What's up everybody? I am Key Love Scott. Welcome back to my channel where I help uplift, encourage, and inspire others on how to be the best versions of themselves. If you guys are new to my channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified every time I post another video. So you guys, in today's video, we are going to be discussing angel numbers. Um, if you guys are saying things like 111, 1111, 333, 222, 911, 711, 888, 88, and so on, the list goes on, then you guys need to watch this video because I, um, in my spiritual journey when I was growing closer to Christ, so I thought I was so convinced that God was speaking to me through angel numbers. Um, I felt like that he was trying to communicate to me if my prayers were being answered or if I was, you know, going the wrong way or if there was something that he wanted me to know that I asked him in prayer that he was communicating through numbers exactly what it is that I needed to figure out. And then I would go and Google what these numbers meant. And I found out that they were called angel numbers. Um, and initially I didn't think anything negative about it or I didn't think it was anything wrong. I felt like um, when I read it and they told me that I was vibrating at a higher frequency that this is a good sign. This means I'm doing something right. Like I'm, I must be growing in my journey. Like I must be, you know, getting closer to God and being closer to being, you know, secondly woke. Cause I already felt like I was woke, but I felt like I had to be, um, vibrating at a higher level in order to have my second awakening. Cause I just felt like, what is a second awakening? Awakening? Am I having it? If I'm seeing these numbers, that must mean that I'm that much closer to God. So um, the more that I would look into it, the more that I, I felt like that they were kind of following me everywhere. I would see them on the back of license plates. I would see them on like, it could be billboards. It could be on your receipts. It could be at the, at your gas pump. It just happens to be stopping at 1111 or something in you tells you to look and then you see the time and it'll say 222 or 333. Um, and it was starting to get to the point to where I even made videos. I made a lot of videos about what these different num numbers were meaning. And so many people were talking about how I was helping them and, you know, I, how I was seeing like 555 five, five, and other people were seeing it and how it stood for like a really big change. But I want you guys to know that this is really dangerous and I'm going to be explaining why. So first, we're going to start with um, this, which is God is the author of numbers and use them multiple times throughout scripture. However, you will find that his use of numbers always preceded great acts of God. He did not play games and bring frustration, confusion, or any negative emotion attached. He is clear cut in revealing why he may use a number. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or daughters to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Deuteronomy 18, verses 10 through 12. Also in Proverbs chapter 4, 7, um, it says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Proverbs chapter 3 and 5 tells us to lean not on our own understanding. So... When we are doing these things and we're looking up these different numbers and we're looking at other people's videos about these numbers, we are leaning on our own understanding. We are getting frustrated because we're not knowing why we're feeling like these numbers are following us around, why we feel afraid when we see these numbers. Or we may feel the opposite. We may feel happy knowing that, oh my gosh, if I don't get these numbers today and if I don't see these numbers, then something must be wrong. Seeing numbers is a great thing. I have to see them. That means I'm doing something right. But that's wrong. It's not wrong. It clearly tells us in the Bible that if you're doing these things, you're depending on your own understanding. You are 
falling in line with the times, meaning you are getting the meaning from everything else but God. And that is very, very dangerous because if you're not getting it from God, then who are you getting it from, right? So I found out, long story short, that these things were basically um, a part of the occult and that occult and all of the things that you know comes with new age is very demonic. I didn't see it at that at the time, but the further I got away from the occult, the further and further I got to Christ, the more I got to see clearly how deep in darkness I was. And I thank God that he convicted me before it got any worse, before I did any more, you know, things that could have really cost me. So I found this article thanks to one of my subscribers. Shout out to Tim. Hey, um, he basically posted this um, article for me. And I wanted to share it with you guys because um, I felt like the angel numbers were demonic and I felt like they were part of divination and therefore I stopped and even people were like messaging me on my Instagram um, asking me like if angel numbers were bad, if they were biblical and how they're Christians too and how they were really confused about this. And really it is very much divination. So um, I'm going to read some stuff from this article and I'm going to comment it um, in the comment section down below. So definitely check my pinned comment is going to have this article in there where you can read more about these things because I couldn't just get every single thing. But um, the lady in the article said, you may be wondering what the big deal is um, and what may seem like, what's the big deal? They're just numbers. They're not harming anyone. Like... This isn't something that's bad. It's just numbers like, um, but why not just continue to ignore it if nothing is hurting anyone? You may be wondering. Well, by doing nothing, you are unwillingly giving it power and legal right into your life and your home. A legal right is something that gives demonic entities an opening to enter and to harass you or when attempting to cast them out, gives them a right to remain. Once you have given it legal right, it then has the power and authority to invite a host of other evil spirits to join in. Unknowingly, you have also freely given them access to every member within your household. So basically what she's saying is when you're just letting these numbers remain and you're seeing these numbers on the clock and they keep popping up repetitively, we are to renounce them in the name of Jesus. Okay, because if you are not renouncing these numbers, you are basically al allowing this spirit legal, legal rights into your home and to every member in your family. If you're not renouncing these things, you're telling that spirit they have legal right. They can stay there and they can invite a whole host of other spirits with them. According to a former demon possessed woman who received complete deliverance, one of the main demons is named Numero. Um, so basically, suddenly strife may rise between siblings as well as with your spouse. Rebellion can come in and open a host of troubles for you and your children. Health issues may then arise, which then leads to financial difficulty due to the need for doctor visits and medication. And the list is never ending. Um, this spirit is known as numeral or a.k.a. the trespasser. The definition for trespasser is to intrude, to go too far, to put to inconvenience by demand or um, to basically trespass the time or patience of another. The trespassing spirit works to attract attention and to bring distraction. An important truth to remember is that Satan is the great counterfeit. He is no creator and has no imagination aside from copying God because he once walked with God as the only angel God called anointed, covering God's throne, he has understanding of the Father. We must not underestimate his ability to fool us using supernatural measures that only look like, even seem like our God's character. So uh, with being short, we'll rephrasing that basically, even Satan masquerades himself as a beacon of light. He's going to use angel numbers and even the word angel numbers sounds like something that is light and holy and pure, but actually it is very much demonic. And that is how we get subtly led astray further and further away from the truth by simple numbers. 
Satan also uses counterfeits. He will replace something true and genuine with such a similar imitation that we may be fooled unless we check it against scripture. Prove all things. Hope fast that which is good. Thessalonians is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and 21. 1 John chapter 4 and 1 says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. Keep in mind that demons hate us. They seek to consume us and spit us up. They will still kill and destroy you, even any weakness, if there's any weakness to be found in you. Um, and then it says... Basically, Satan is a master of disguise and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Second Corinthians chapter eleven fourteen. He may roam around like a lion, but our chief in command, our kinsman, redeemer and son of the living God, Jesus, the Christ is a lion. If you do not know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can receive him with your heart and he can deliver you from darkness with sin. So if you guys do not have Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, please repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you have died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and I invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. So I know that I kind of got a lot in a short amount of time, but I hope that this really helps you guys. If you need any more references and you want to reread exactly what I mentioned in this video, again, the article will be pinned in the comment section down below. There is so many people falling away from the faith, going into this new age, you know, religion. And it is so easy to be led astray. You start seeing numbers, then you start looking up what the numbers mean. And then before you know it, you start doing things along with the occult. And it really does lead you further and further away from the truth. And then you literally have no desire to hear the word of God, no desire to praise God, no desire to praise, to read the Bible, to repent, to do all of these things that God wants us and requires us to do in order to reside in the kingdom of heaven. And that is extremely dangerous. So this video is to everybody out there who is like myself, who once believed that these things were harmless, um, who believed that these things were something good and that it was God communicating with me. Make no mistake, God will not leave you confused and he will not lead you to darkness further and further down the rabbit hole and to figure out what these things mean. So if you're studying things like the law of attraction, if you're trying to figure out things about extraterrestrial life, about um, reincarnation or just things about the universe, if you're referring to frequencies and vibrations and universe and things like that that is very much new age and you need to repent right now in the name of jesus because you are inviting spirits to come into your home and give them legal rights to take possession of not only you but people who you love very very much so um i hope that this video helps you guys please leave a like button or in the comment section hit the like button um, comment down below if you guys have learned anything new or if you've experienced this yourself the most important thing is to repent and to remember that Jesus Christ is our Lord and our Savior and that it is never too late. He loves us and he is waiting for you to turn around and to be convicted by this video. Um, I love you guys very, very much and I will see you guys in another video. Shout out to all of my new subscribers, by the way. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Mwah.